4.0 is transforming manufacturing jobs. How are companies preparing themselves and their workers? Our AMD, um, Ms. Tian Kuiying, will be speaking with our next guest on this topic. Vivian, please. Thank you, Vivian. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Good afternoon, um, everybody. So let me give a short introduction about Applied Materials. Applied Materials is the world's largest uh, semiconductor and display equipment company. And actually, its materials engineering capabilities have powered and produced, helped produce many of the chips and advanced displays that goes into many of the consumer electronics as well as cell phones that all of us see today. It's quite heartening that actually Applied Materials started in Singapore in 1991 uh, with just a very small uh, service and sales operations. But today, Singapore is the strategic hub for them employing over 2,000 workers across a range of diverse functions, including headquarters, manufacturing, advanced manufacturing, R&D, and also sales and customer engineering support services. Today, I'm very pleased to have with me uh, my guest, uh, Lisa. She's the global uh, HR director uh, for talent as well as organization development initiatives. So she will be here to share with us how manufacturing jobs are evolving with digitalization and how AMAT is uh, taking actions and steps to support their workers to stay ahead of the game. Lisa, please. Thanks, Queen. Yeah. We are the last uh, dialogue, and we are representing diversity, so. <laughs> Thank you. That is you. very true. Yeah. So, yeah, oh, come nearer? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So actually, uh, Applied Materials actually has uh, one of the largest presence uh, in terms of manufacturing outside of the US. And you are obviously embracing I4.0, uh, adopting new technologies, be it using data to better inform your supply chain or to drive efficiency and productivity. But that sounds a little abstract. Could you break that down a little on what exactly is happening at the shop floor and how the jobs are actually evolving? Sure. So thank you very much for allowing us this opportunity to share the applied materials experience. Um, let me put it this way. So we are the largest manufacturing facility outside of uh, US for applied. And we actually account for about 50% of the global production output. So it is a big facility. Uh, for us, the product that we produce is highly sophisticated. It is truly customized for our customer. So imagine when we do one system build, it can have more than 1,000 configurations. No single build is the same. Okay. So in an environment like this, a very high mix, low volume manufacturing environment, for us, really data is critical. Data allows us to understand our build. Data allows us to understand where the defects are and data allows us to understand where the production is in the process. Right. So with Industry 4.0 initiatives, we really are embracing the ability to use this data on a real-time basis. Mm -hmm. Real-time meaning we use it to say, uh, have an overview of the shop floor. By having an overview of the shop floor and where all the builds are, when customers come in and we need to change configurations or upgrade configurations, we can do it very quickly, mm -hmm. right? That increases our ability to produce faster and more efficiently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More exciting is the ability to now use data to do some predictions. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we have live dashboards on the shop floor that allow us to sort of uh, track lead indicators that tell us when defects may happen. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. what our engineers and technicians do, they will be able to read these uh, da dashboards and then stop the defects before it even occurs. Okay. And again, that reduces our manufacturing time and makes us highly productive. Mm -hmm. It sounds really exciting how data now is able to power the individual to do their jobs a lot better. But could you share a little bit more? Then what does it mean in terms of the skill sets an employee for applied materials today uh, that needs to acquire or need to upskill uh, in order to do the new job well? So I'll uh, illustrate that with a story. It seems to be the theme today is to tell stories. <laughs> so <laughs> let me tell Very a good. story as well. Uh, so uh, imagine on our shop floor, uh, we had a case of a manufacturing engineer. Mm -hmm. And he realized that uh, he is now able to integrate data that comes from multiple systems. This is what Applied Material has uh, enabled within the infrastructure. Um, he, as a result of that, uh, conceptualized and built our first live uh, dashboard on the shop floor. Mm -hmm. okay? And that is the dashboard that I mentioned earlier, allows us to sort of track 
some of these lead indicators. So we know when certain indicators go wrong, that possible defects may happen. So now our manufacturing team can actually track these indicators and when they see something go awry, mm -hmm. they are able to quickly adjust and uh, make the changes required before the defect happens. Mm -hmm. And this all came from this uh, manufacturing engineer who took that opportunity to see how he could incorporate data and use that to make us more effective. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is precisely the kind of mindset and skill sets that we need to make manufacturing more attractive and more efficient, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. The people who are able to take data, understand how valuable data is, and turn that around for us. At the same time, right, people who work around him, who appreciate that data is now being used to develop data-driven tools. Mm -hmm. Data-driven tools that they will embrace and change the way they work. Okay. So on these two fronts, right, this is really the change we see with Industry 4.0 coming in and being a lot more data-centric. Mm -hmm. It sounds like data appreciation and data literacy is actually key in some of the new skill sets that you're looking for. Yeah. Could, could you share a little bit more on what are the supporting uh, you know, uh, infrastructure as well as uh, you know, HR programs that mm -hmm. you guys have put in place to support uh, your workers to transit into acquiring some of these new skill sets? Yeah, so that's the way, that's my, my uh, sh uh, sphere of influence, so I'm very excited <laughs> to share this. So for applied materials, right, uh, and I think in all high-tech companies, as you have heard, uh, being, having data-centric, data-savvy employees is critically important. For us, it's not just about having data. It's having our people that can move data to insights, right? How do you analyze the data and create insights? And ultimately, you need to use the insights to activate action, right? Having the insights is just one thing. You need to have action. So we need to move people from data to insights, from insights to action. And to do this, we see it as a three-stage uh, three process, okay? Firstly, for all our employees, you really need to be a much more intelligent consumer of data, right? When given a dashboard, when given the, uh, when asked to build, a dashboard for your manager, for example. You really have to understand where the data comes from, not be afraid of the data, and also be very critical when given a piece of data. So that's one, to be an intelligent data consumer. The second one is, once you are able to do that, is to become a data analyst. Whether you are a senior data analyst or just a simple data analyst or having data analytic skills within your current role, including for myself, HR, right? So we are training our people to be able to mine, analyze, and at the end of the day, visualize the data so that you can create actions out of it. And the third stage, which is the highest level, is to become a data scientist. This is very difficult uh, because it requires some of our internal engineers and technical staff to be able to blend what they understand about our process and our industry and build tools using AI, machine learning, algorithms to be embedded into our current processes. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's the third okay. level. But perhaps I, I think one final question for, for you. I, I think apart from the hard skills that's needed to appreciate data and utilize data, are there mindset shifts that's needed on the part of the employee to fully take advantage of some of these new opportunities that's happening in your sector? Oh, definitely. Yeah. So. Uh, we see uh, the change, again, we have this three-prong approach to drive this mindset shift. We really need to have people be aware that data is the new norm for us, right? So even though applied materials, we are investing heavily in AI and machine learning, embedding that into our tools, not everybody knows, right? So number one, we need to generate awareness. Awareness to all the employees that AI is coming in different stages into your workplace so that people are ready once they get full-blown AI tools coming at them. So that's one, you generate awareness. Number two, you really need to have people be comfortable and have the training infrastructure available for them to learn the new skills, right? So we have comprehensive uh, training curriculum set up, uh, both online and instructor-led. At the same time, being a global company, we can tap on a network of experts available all around the world. So that's that. The third one is, as a HR person, training is just step one, right? <laughs> training doesn't get embedded into skills until you practice. Okay. To be able to practice, you need to have something to practice on. 
So Applied Materials has also invested in infrastructure to build an entire data lake. We have realized that we can pull data from all our different systems into one big lake and allow now employees that have the right skills and of course the right access to the data to start practicing the skills that they have been taught. And at the end of the day, we feel that by doing this in a three-stage process, mm -hmm. we can build this army of data-savvy, data-centric um, employees that will help us grow. Okay, thank you, Lisa. Uh, but uh, these are all very excellent tips for both manufacturers but also employees um, to take specific actions in order for them to fully embrace these new opportunities. Mm -hmm. I wish you all the best. Yeah. Oh, thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you, thank you Ms. Tan. Thank you, Kuyeng.